Welcome back. Today, we're going to be learning about sexual reproduction. So stay tuned and let's get ready to learn. How do organisms reproduce sexually? In sexual reproduction, offspring inherit half of their genetic material from each parent. As a result, offspring are not identical to either parent. Sexual reproduction requires the production of sex cells, one from each parent. The male sex cell is a sperm, and the female sex cell is an egg. Here's a photo of a sperm, and then here's a photo of an egg. Sex cells are produced by a type of cell division called meiosis. Sex cells contain only half the number of chromosomes found in bodies. Human cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes, for a total of 46 chromosomes. Human sex cells contain only one chromosome for, from each pair, for a total of 23. During sexual reproduction, one egg and one sperm join to form a zygote, a cell with a complete number of chromosomes. The joining of sperm and egg is called fertilization. Offspring that result from sexual reproduction are genetically different from each, each other and from their parents. This genetic diversity introduces new traits into a population that may help an organism survive. For example, a mouse might inherit a combination of genes that will result in a new fur color. If the new fur color blends into the environment better than the other fur colors, the mouse is harder for a predator to see and is likely to survive longer. And here is just a small image of what happens in sexual reproduction. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for lesson number 17, Life Cycle of Non-Flowering Plants. Like always, like and subscribe. Till next time, peace out.